Okay, a local adoption center for cats with feline leukemia is getting a makeover. Austin Pets Alive says these cats are usually overlooked. But before construction can start, the shelter needs to get those cats in foster homes. And today is the last day to do it. KXAN's Dylan McKim joins us Aww. in studio. Dylan, are <laughs> there still a lot of cats looking for homes? About four cats left right oh. now still looking for that shelter home. And an APA says the cats are usually looked over because of a misunderstanding about their condition. The planned makeover to the Feline Leukemia Adoption Center is supposed to stop that misunderstanding. <laughs> away from the loud barking, tucked away in a corner of Austin Pets Alive, sits the Feline Leukemia Adoption Center. Inside is a small group of cats with the FELV virus. And although it may seem like it, these cats do not have a form of cancer. They simply have a compromised immune system. We want people to know that these are not sick cats. These cats have feline leukemia, um, and so they can still be pet. Um, you can still come see them. Kelly Garlock is the program coordinator for the center. Hi, buddy. She says the cats are overlooked because of the name of the center. That could soon change. Austin Pets Alive is making over this room. New shelves for the cats. And be able to enjoy themselves and be at a variety of levels. And new paint with an inviting message on it that people can see through the window. Garlock says the message will draw people inside to meet and play with the cats. That way people can meet the likes of Pavlov, a seven-month-old kitten who was at risk of euthanasia and El Macho Gato, an eight-year-old cat who came within four hours of being killed before coming here. The shelter is trying to foster these cats for two weeks during construction. There were ten, now only four remain. Tuesday is the last day they can be fostered, otherwise they will be placed in the intake area in kennels, which is what Garlock wants to avoid. Not ideal for them. These cats are immunocompromised, so stress can hmm. cause them to get ill. Garlock says a cat with FELV can be uh, fostered in a home with other animals that are not cats. The virus cannot be passed to other animals. If you do have cats without the virus, you will not be able to foster a FELV cat. And if you are interested, you can visit APA at its uh, Cesar Chavez location. You can't let it Macho Gato not mm. get Yeah, a Macho Gato's yeah. got, yeah. He has to get it to a house. He's got a couple stories to tell, <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs>